Men okej. Okay. Mm. Utan för mig. Mm. <laughs> Hi! We have two big announcements for you here on YouTube. We have announced them before. We were even in the newspaper. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but we have two things to talk about. And the first one is that we got engaged and we're getting married. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first one. And that's huge. Yep. Do you want to take the second one? And the second one is even bigger, mm -hmm. I would say. We're having a baby. We're having a baby. <laughs> this autumn. Yeah. So that's the two big things that's happening in our lives. So we're really excited about both of them naturally and uh, since we posted this on our social media and in, it got written about in the newspaper we have been getting a lot of questions so we thought that maybe we should answer a few of them here as well. Yeah. Do you want to start? Yeah, one question is will the baby have the same disability that you have? No. No, my disability is called AMC, arthrogryposis multiplex congenita, and there are different versions of it, but mine is not genetical, so my kids won't have it. Well, it's the same risk as I had it, and that's a very, very, very small risk, so we seriously doubt that. And on the ultrasound, we saw the baby waving. <laughs> yeah, so. the baby can already use <laughs> The, the arms better than I can. <laughs> yeah. So probably won't have it. No, no. Nope. And we counted the fingers and the toes, and it uh, seems healthy. Yeah. Another question that we get is: uh, Will you be able to hold the baby? Yes, I think so. Um, it would be easy to use a baby Bjorn in the beginning, like a something on my back because I am very strong in my back and chest so for me to hold a baby that way won't be a problem and I'm thinking that I'm gonna stay, spend a lot of time leaning in the sofa or lying down and you can help or, or my caregivers can help to position the baby so I can hold it on my chest where naturally I'm not gonna risk anything no. or because you won't let me nope uh, <laughs> but I wouldn't anyway no. um, so I, of course, and I'm gonna take part in everything. I mean, I, I I don't want to change the diapers with my feet or something like that. I think we can get some help with that, but yeah, it's, the, it's a personal the, choice. The diaper changing, I will take care of or the caregivers will do it. Uh, but naturally I will join. Yeah, but I don't want you to do it with your feet or your mouth, so that's why. And that's not the most important thing for me to do either. No, I don't think you feel like you're missing out. No. And I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Another question that we get is, when will you get married? Soon. Yeah. Soon. We'll see. We haven't said a date yet, but no. we're... We are... It will happen soon. <laughs> Another question is, will you do the paternal leave that you have in Sweden? It's true that in Sweden we have paternal leave for for the first 10 days and then later as well uh, the, the father is uh, obliged to take some time but that is not the system within the European Union and the European Parliament so unfortunately I can't do several months of paternal leave but uh, I'm gonna hurry back home after voting. Yeah. You don't go by the Swedish rules since you work in Brussels. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's uh, the same rules for all the uh, members of the European Parliament. Um, regardless, uh, actually, if you're a woman or a man, there are no maternal leave as an MEP either, no. except for the first day. So we still are going to have to vote and do the parliamentary work. But I think we have talked about that and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. it will be fine. And uh, you can also join come fly with me to Brussels when you want to or stay at home and wait for me here so we have several possibilities on how to sort that out are you worried about having a father to the child with a disability no <laughs> <laughs> easy short answer yeah no 
Am I worried about being a disabled father? No. No. I think it would be fine. And we have been discussing a lot about our shared values and everything and we, we think very similar about how to, to raise a child. So, And that's what's most important, not that I can't lift something with my arm. No. And I think that in the future we will be very careful to not let the child help out too much because the child should not be a caregiver. No, no, definitely not. It's not help daddy with everything. I don't want it that way. And we are fortunate because in Sweden we don't have to have it that way. No. In some countries you might have no choice and that makes it completely different. But, but since we have the possibility of not doing it like that, mm. I wish that more countries would have the possibilities that we do. But mm. we are very fortunate to, to have that possibility to choose. That's everything for this video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Short but intense. See you. See Bye. You. Bye. Nej men då får jag börja med det här.